hello and good day. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Nicole Tyann. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe before the end of this video as I am a growing channel and in efforts to help me grow. And thank you so much and may you be blessed because of it. So this video is going, I am going to be discussing abuse and how it's passed down in bloodlines and how it's passed down in industries. I'm gonna um, right now talk about the topic of how we have, um, it's a norm in our society. So right now I'm gonna be discussing the topic of abuse and how we have the why now culture and the no talk culture and the pay you off culture and the you want clout culture. These are things that the Holy Spirit has brought to my attention that um, have become the norm for people to say for people who have been abused. And um, I am one to tell you that that is backwards thinking because any form of abuse is wrong. It does not matter um, how minimal or how maximum that abuse is. Any abuse is wrong and can be traumatizing and can ruin a person mentally, emotionally, and physically, and spiritually. So, um, I, uh, I am being used to speak about how a lot of people are suppressed from speaking out about their abuse, okay? Um, and what does this mean, or what does this in turn bring is what I uh, questioned here. I said, suppressed emotions leads to a suppressed community and culture. This leads to all kinds of mental problems which connects to the spiritual and physical aspects. And, um, these, these aspects of who we are are so important for our complete well-being, um, meaning having a, um, a stable spiritual, physical, and mental um, life, okay? And, um, and we do that with uh, daily practices. Um, one of those things that we use, right, to um, have, a, uh, have that balance, right, mentally spiritually and physically is using the word of god right being on the vibration of jesus christ amen so continuing <clears throat> you know we're speaking about abuse and how it leads to suppression right and how it's passed down right and um and when this happens you know when it um you know, this suppressed of emotions, right? It could, it creates blockages, right? And um, those blockages happen um, first in the spiritual because the spiritual realm comes first, right? So it's even things that we can't even see. You know, when, um, you know, say for example, for those of us who don't want to talk about it or those of us who get paid off, um, you know, you may be getting paid off and you may not want to talk about it, but in turn, in turn, you know, in word, um, it is doing something to us. Um, and uh, it can even lead to things like drug abuse and all sorts of addictions. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, pause here and just give like different, um, my experience with abuse and even my mother, um, like my mother was physically abused, but then, then passing, you know, down, you know, um, my mother had um, drug abuse issues, right? And so that affected me and my younger three siblings um, to where at time, where, you know, um, during our childhood, my papa and my nana, that's what we called her, took care of us. That was my papa's last wife. And, um, and even after, you know, um, my mom had got, you know, custody of us, we ended up getting in foster care because my mom had fell back into it. Um, and I believe it just goes back to, you know, um, suppressed emotions, you know, um, and, and that leads to 
abuse of all all sorts and all all kinds you know um when i was 18 i had i had to realize that i had a i had the wrong um perspective i had the wrong idea of what love was um you know because of the neglect because of the abandonment that was abuse and um what should have happened was i should have been um, it should have been communicated what i was going through as a child you see um, a lot of times when children are going through um, a loss of parents or any type of um any type of physical, mental, or emotional change, right? Changes, um, there should be, um, there should be open spaces for the, that child um, to be given understanding, to be given knowledge of what's going on. But that's just the culture that has been passed down, you know? Um, you know, I guess if you don't talk about it, it don't exist, but that's not true. But continuing, um, and I had to heal from the abandonment, neglect, and abuse issues that I had from the childhood, you know, I, because of that, uh, excuse me, because of that, I was attracting the wrong type of relationships and um, if you hear something shaking, that's the wind outside, the winds of change. But um, I was accepting, I was attracting the same type of relationships you know, and it was uh, it was as if when I moved on to another one, it was just like the same spirit just just moved to the next one. You understand? Um, but like where I really got it, you know, where I had to heal and I had to go back. Like, why am I? Why have I accepted? You know what I mean? The, when we be accepting certain forms of love that is not what we deserve, um, not even close to, you know, how someone's supposed to be loved. And you have to sit back and be like, why did I accept it? And it, it usually goes back to, to, the, to the latest, to the last form of abuse that occurred in your life. And so, Glory to God, coming to healing and all of that in my childhood, I can now help others. And I can tell, you know, when in that space, and I know I can be like, you know, you gotta heal from your childhood or you won't be able to move forward in anything in your life. You know what I mean? Like you will not have successful relationships. It, that's how deep it is. Like you gotta cut off the, the bad stuff at the root. You gotta cut off the bad root at the, you know what I mean you have to cut off the bad at the root that's, that's what I hear so I'm just gonna go to this next page here um, and I wrote here abuse of any form is demonic it comes from the dark principalities and powers okay I uh, also wrote, a lot of abusers have been abused, which does not make it okay. But this abuse has to be cut off at the root, and it must be burned with the word of God. Let's see. <laughs> you know, um, and it must be burned with the word of God. And also, another testimony. So, in one of my latest videos, I was uh, talking about, it's called uh, Sued for Abuse. And I had, um, I was used to say that God is going to be healing those who have been abused. And it so happened that the, the next day right after that healing would take place in my own household and family. Okay. So this thing is real. Okay. It's real. And God is healing people who have truly been abused and desire healing. And it has like affected 
them so much. And people also have to understand that um, abuse blocks purpose, destiny, life fulfillment until it is fully addressed. Um, we are the healers and we can choose to heal so we, so we um, you know, can end passing it down our bloodlines and things like that. And I speak to my own daughter about, I speak to her about not only, you know, my, the things I had to learn, but the things that I learned from my mother's path so that she can, those things pass to her. So those things, you know, the end of the strength that I have and that I have passed to her and she passes it down to hers and it keeps going and going. And you know, that scripture that says, my people die from lack of knowledge. And um, there's nothing new under the sun. Just like in the days of old, our people always pass down knowledge. How will the future know? How will they know how to operate? If we don't pass down the knowledge, how will they know how to, you know, operate? Like I said, block out certain things. Um, no discernment no spiritual concepts, principles that can help them in their life. And it's us who has to pass it down and we have to talk to them. We have to be the ones talking to them more than the TVs are talking to them. We have to be more in their ears than the the, the, the phones and etc. Okay. So I wanted to give you guys a testimony and I gave that to you talking about the healing that has taken place in my home and I also have talked to you guys about my own experience with um, abandonment neglect which is forms of abuse and you know and um, and how the Lord healed me from that the living word has healed me from you know that trauma as a child and I can use the good things now to teach my child I can pass down you know what things that happen so that the dark principalities and powers can't use it against our blue lines again amen um, and that's how we become um, doers of the word instead of only hearers um, and Continuing, I hope that this video helps someone. Um, if you are someone who has gone through the like, you know, um, if you are someone who has been abused, you know, I hope you know, and if you don't know, you matter. And a lot of people don't believe in God because of the very fact that um, they say, well, if God exists, why did this and that happen? I've heard that plenty of times from talking to, you know, people who I too have considered, you know, to be, you know, friends or whatnot. But it's be, that's just pain and hurt talking, right? But um, God just he gives you, gives us, has given me clarity on it. And mankind has free will. And God is a God of vengeance. So although man has free will, God's, God knows and sees all. Remember what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. And one way or another, there will be vengeance on any and all who have been abused amen and glory to god and you matter your pain matters and i pray for healing for you i pray for supernatural healing for you or anyone connected to you who has been abused so that it may stop so that people's purposes and destinies will be unblocked amen and the people will actually be able to have 
and reach life fulfillment. Most people don't don't reach that. And it's because of pain and hurt and all of those lower energies and lower vibrations that just keep you down. Keep you down all your life and you know, and years go by so fast, you know. So I would like to end this video with a prayer for healing not only for people who have been abused but people with illnesses diseases and ailments because that is the will of the father and we will see matt's healings um take place you know like on unprecedented levels the miracles of god the wonders of our lord god right so I thank God for using me to make this video and I just pray like it gives someone confirmation that God is watching you and God sees you because God is using me and other of his servants to speak and he wants his people healed and he has said enough is enough and he is tired of like I said that the, the abuse stopping his his people's destinies and their purposes you know what I mean um so if you believe in it and you don't want a court, you can, you know, bow your head as I say this prayer for you and for anyone connected to you who, who needs healing. Amen. Healing is, is in the wind. Healing is in the wind. And healing is in the wings of the Lord. So if you believe you're about to receive some healing in every area of your life. Amen. Glory to God. So let's bow our heads. And I just want to thank you, Father. Holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Salah. So we bring whoever is watching this video before your throne of grace, our Father. They are a believer in your name and are your servant. And we as one ask now, Lord, that you accept them. Look upon their abuse, their illness, their disease, their ailment, whatever it is. Look upon it so that it flees and never returns. Holy Ghost fire, look upon your servant's abuse, illness, disease, ailment. Holy Ghost, burn it away with your supernatural fire. And we thank you, God, for we know your unconditional love never faileth as it is written. We thank you for healing those who are watching. We thank you. We praise you for healing those who have their hearts towards you right now and who need this healing as the angels say night and day glory 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 let god's people give you praise alleluia 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 you are faithful and forever to be praised thank you for the blood the healing is in the blood Holy Ghost fire, let this same healing take over. Break free the captive. And it is so. In Jesus Christ's name. And add accordingly to every believer. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Cover this prayer in the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing can come against the blood. For all things are made subject to you. Amen, amen, salah. So let this prayer be a blessing to you. I will also post it at the bottom of this video. And you can continue reading my blog at www.nicoletyan.com, which I'll also post at the bottom where I continue talking about um, this topic and how it leads to taking your power back. Amen. So... Uh, and that is the conclusion of this lesson is 
if you are someone who has found yourself in abuse of any form, okay, any illness, any ailment, it is time to take your power back. It is time for you to be free, to be whole. Amen. So thank you so much again for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video so others can find it. Um, I am I'm grateful to be used and I pray in an abundance of peace and joy and love to you and your family. Okay, so before I go, I wanted to read a couple scriptures for you guys. So James 5, 16, it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual favorite prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So it goes back to opening up using that throat chakra <laughs> to speak out you know um, go before god because that is the healer amen that is the one who can heal us you know um the psalms 147 3 he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds and i'm a witness of that jeremiah 17 14 reads Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Yeah. One more. Matthew eleven, twenty-eight 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. <laughs> Thank you.